Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new video guys, and today, it's another video, Crazy Combo Deck. First episode did really, really well, Mega Steelix Kiawe went, did pretty awesome, so thank you guys for that, this definitely motivates me to want to make more videos in this series. Basically, Crazy Combo Deck is a series where we use a combo of cards that somehow blend pretty well together and they combo really nicely together and we try them out and we can see if these combos are actually decent enough to be rogue so last one we looked at mega steelix with kiawe today's episode episode number two we're looking at nido king with metagross now oh i know you're probably like what is going on this is the worst deck i've ever seen i'm gonna unsub because this is garbage content nope this is actually going to be a funny deck. Now, Nido King never has seen play. It's mainly only if ever seen play with Nido Queen from Primal Clash. But that's gone, and there's no Nido Queen in standard now, so... King's Palace is pretty bad. However, we are going to be using it for Power Lariat. So, Nido King's attack Power Lariat. For 3 energies, you do 60. Does 30 more damage for each evolution Pokemon on your bench. Now, this is not a terrible attack. The energy is a little clunky. I think it was a Psychic and a DC. Nido King would probably see a lot more play. But unfortunately, you have to pay that much energy. And there's really no good way to build it up. So, we're going to be looking at the attack. So, technically, if you have a full bench... I mean, let's count it. One Pokemon, we're doing 90. Two Pokemon, we're doing 2, 120. Three Pokemon, 150. With a Choice Band, 180. So, just three Pokemon with a Choice Band allows you to take easy one-shots on some GX Pokemon. Four Pokemon is 180. And 5 Pokemon is 210 damage, which is nuts. So we can actually do a lot of damage with Power Lariat here. And it becomes a pretty decent attack. Um, but the problem is, how do we build up Nido King efficiently? We got your boy Metagross GX. Metagross GX has the ability Geotech System. Once you're in turn for your attack, you may catch a Psychic Energy or a Metal Energy card from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. Or to your active, sorry. To your active, not one of your Pokemon. That'd be broken. So to your active. So you just build up Nido King with Metagross GX's Geotech system, and that's how we attack with Nido King. Pretty simple. Now the nice part about Metagross, it is a metal type, so it allows you to have better times against Garboder, because Nido King is weak to Psychic. It one-shots Gardevoir pretty easily, and it also goes through Ninetales. So you actually have a lot of good matchups with this Metagross, which is kind of nice. Um, Metagross is a great partner for Nido King. And then we look at the other Pokemon. Now we do play our two Vulpixes, again it is a like a quad stage 2 deck we're using Metagross and Nido King. that's a lot of stage 2's we gotta get into play. Beacon is gonna help us get those into play a lot easier. And we're gonna be playing one Ninetales just because we do need that evolution. If we have a baby Vulpix sitting on our bench, we need to have an evolution in play instead. So we are indeed gonna be running one Ninetales so Nido King can do 30 more damage. Sometimes we do need that 30 extra damage. We will have one Lele on the bench. Which unfortunately will be kind of just in there doing nothing. That's fine though. Now another nice part about rotation. N is not as easy now with VSC you're being gone. So algorithm is actually a little more reliable. Maybe. Maybe. But if you pull off an algorithm in this deck, it's game over for your opponent. Another nice thing about Nido King, it does have a bigger treat, so you can use Heavy Ball with it, along with Metagross, so they, that alone combos nicely. We will play one Nido King break. Being able to have 180 HP is good, and sometimes Toxic Drill will actually be a decent attack. Um, it's not as good as Power Lariat, but sometimes Toxic Drill is a better attack than Power Lariat itself. Um, so I, li I like I like this Nido King break quite a bit in the deck. Gives you more HP, which is always nice, because 150 HP on Nido King is pretty pretty weak actually. We are gonna be playing a 3-2 line again. If we have a baby Nido Rain on the bench, we can always go straight into Nidorino. By the way, does this Nidoran look like a Nidoran female? It's like it's like blue, it's not even purple Caparos. Um We got our 3-2, 3 line, of course we need the, the two tanks in case we need to evolve them. Rare Candy will be our best friend here though, which is nice. Um, so yeah, those are all of our Pokemon. Can this crazy combo work? Who knows? Um, we got one Field Blower. I would like to run more, but I, this deck is so tight on space because there's so many crazy things about it. So I can't find any more room. Two Heavy Balls, once again. Nido King and Metagross both have a big retreat, so they're easy to get into play. We do play one Stretcher. They got our Pokemon back. Of course, we got our four candies. This is a staple in the deck because we do need rare candy to go straight into Nido King or Metagross. 
We've got four Ultra Balls to search out our deck for our Pokemon. One Bridget. Bridget turn one is golden. Two Bridgets might even be better, because once you turn one Bridget, you can get like a couple Belgums and Needle Rams down. We got three Guzmas. Of course, your boy Guzmas Lysander. Three ends. Four Sycamores for draw support. We are going to be playing two Skylas, because it might be important to do Skyla in the early game for rare candy, and we are going to be playing two Skylas for that reason. Three choice bands to do more damage, because you can do Giga Hammer for 180, which isn't bad. Uh, we do play one Float. Metagross has a Master Retreat. Nido King has a Master Retreat. But we have Guzma, so we don't have to worry about it too much. Plus, they want to trap Metagross. That's fine, because Metagross is a good attacker. And we play a total of nine energy. We got seven Psych Energy for our Nido King, and only two Metal Energy for Metagross. Two Metals could be problematic. But if worst comes to worst, we can always even attack with like nine tails. Maybe have a wall. We can attack with Tapu Lele. We have Energy Drive. We can use Tapu Cure. Again, Algorithm is one of the riskiest GX attacks in the game right now because of how good N is. Again, your opponent can easily grab an N with Lele or something. Um, so Tapu Cure might not be too bad to heal our Metagross. So there's a lot of different options in this list. But it is a crazy combo deck, of course. Needle King Metagross. What is going on? I don't know. But we are going to go find some matches with this deck on PDCGO. We're going to see the deck in action. And we're going to see this crazy combo deck has potential to be one of the funniest rogue decks we've seen in our lifetime. I don't even know what's going on, but let's go find some matches, and I'll see you guys in just a moment. Alright guys, let's go find some matches with the list and the deck. See how it goes. It's so clunky though. <laughs> so many stage twos, but I think we can pull it off, guys. We're going to have some fun today. First match looks like it's Vikabulu, which means they're going to turn to Vikabulu me. Just like in the... Uh, what was the video? Trying to blank here. I hit my hand though, by the way. My hand's like really. It, oh, I smacked my hand off my table by accident. Um, but in the video I did for the Mega Scissor deck, of course my opponent. Oh, I didn't click. Yes. Rip. All right, but yeah, in the in the video against the the Bulu deck and Scissor, they got turn two Bulu on me, and I'm not gonna be surprised if they do it again. So yeah, I'm excited to see that happen. Two games in a row. Hopefully that doesn't happen. So I'm getting a little annoyed with all these turn two bulus. Oh, I got a big bruise in my hand. Ow. Oh, my hand is so sore from smacking it. Ow. Ugh. Ow. Sorry, guys. My hand is like, stinging right now. It's hard to touch my mouse. Guess we hit him back with a hello. I'm going to suck him more. That's fine. Get energy in the discard. I am losing break and a heavy ball, which I don't like seeing. Oh, we would bell them. We got in turn two Metagross. We actually have a pretty good hand here. We can probably Lele for Bridget. But of course, turn two Vika Bolt is going to happen. Ah, my hand is so sore. Sorry about this, guys, but literally... Oh. I smacked my hand off my table by accident. And it's killing me. It's like... Oh, it's stinging so hard. It's not bleeding. It's got like a bruise now. It's... Oh, it hurts. Ain't no fake bruise. Like that Megan chip. Like one of my phase banks. No, I'm kidding. Um, we're going to see Ultra Ball. And of course we're going to see Turn 2 Vehicle. We do have a good hand though. Hopefully our Bridget isn't prized. Oh, my hand's so bad. Oh, that hurt. Alright, but it's all good. Lele for Bridget. And he's already got Rare Candy Vehicle in his hand. I might honestly. I'm thinking of putting on like a. A big chart on my wall that says every time they get turn two Vikable in a row. So far, it would have like 20 million check marks. So that's all that happens. I don't have to be Nostradamus to know this turn two Vikable. Oh no, it's not Vikabulu. Never mind. I right, good. I ha had me worried for a sec that it was gonna be Vikabulu. So, so Lele here for Brigette, Brigetti Spaghetti. I kind of want to get a Lola Ninetales in play, I'm not going to lie. I don't know, though. I don't think we need it. Grab two Beldums. Another Vulpix is prized. Rip. I mean, I could grab Ninetales here, but nah, it's kind of pointless. You have a good deck? Nah. Nah. Woo, that was close. And I think we'll go Beacon here for Matang number two and need a Reno. But... He's probably going to have a Ghost Spot. He probably has a Sycamore in his hand or something. How many items have we played? Two. Okay, this is bad, though. He plays Garbotoxin. We only play one Field Blower. 
so I'm kind of worried right now. It makes me regret only having one, but again, this deck is so tight on space, because you have a lot of stage 2 Pokemon to get into play. Yeah, he had the blue spot in his hand. Bro, are you serious? Hopefully he doesn't get Garbotoxin going. That'd be pretty scary. Because we're not going to be able to build Metagross as fast. Vulpix is going to go down though. We do need a quick response to this Golisopod. I don't know what to bring up. Yeah, I don't know what to bring up. We only have one energy in the discard pile. Hmm. Bring up the other Nido Rain, I guess. It's fine. I don't know how good Nido King is in this matchup. Um, because of uh Metagross? Or because of Garbodor? Trash Lanch. Do I wanna put Nido Reno down? I don't think I do. I don't want to just waste a Nido Reno like that. Okay, three items. Plus we do get some psychics for next turn. I guess we gotta pass. Hopefully he doesn't have DC. He probably does though. He hasn't. I haven't seen one yet, so he's probably got DC in his hand. So Nidoran ain't gonna survive. However, as long as Garbotoxin is coming to effect, we might be able to start doing some power lariats here, which is pretty lit. But we can't knock him out because we don't have enough Pokemon on our bench. But we are gonna see a knockout, right? I mean, if he doesn't have DC and a mining anyway. It's gonna armor press me too. I was gonna bring a Lele originally, but the problem with that, obviously, he can, if he found Choice Ban, he'd knock me out Crossing Cut. But now we can maybe start tagging with Nidor King. I mean, we can Scout Ultra Ball. Mm, that's not the draw I was hoping for. We're gonna have to go sick of here, dump our hand. And, I mean, if we with Metagross, which is super unlikely. Nice. Uh, we didn't get Nidoran though, which isn't nice. But you know what? We got the Geotech system, fam. But unfortunately, he will knock me with Crossing Cut. Which just is not nice. He's gonna... Oh, it'd be... De if he ace rollers and Crossing Cuts, man, that is just... That's evil. That's gonna be the most evil thing that could happen all night. But that's what's gonna happen. Ace roller and Crossing Cut. Never mind, he's got another grass. It's kind of interesting. Hmm. It's an interesting play. We won't be able to get another Metagross set. If we had like a rare candy in my hand, I don't know. I'll bring up Metagross anyways. Brought up Glispawn instead of Coco, which is interesting. There's more supporters down the drain. Oh no. Didn't even get an end there. That would be nice. Ooh. Well, 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 look at that. We actually got an attack off. Not bad. Wait. No, we don't have another metal in the discard, do we? Never mind, never mind, never mind. False alarm. False alarm. I was wrong. I was wrong. Now, do I stretch her for one Pokemon here? I mean, I guess. I think at this point, we're probably going to lose, so... Might as well just play this game out and just try and... Do our best. So, it's whatever. I guess we'll Geotech here, too. Probably got an end, but that's fine. Oh, the other, oh, our other Needle King's prize. And our Metal Energy's prize, too. Wow. Talk about unlucky prizes. Okay, that changes everything now. Now I wish I didn't Choice Band Lele, because we could have... Man, that sucks. Yeah, that sucks. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Alright, well. We'll try and stick it out. Do we algorithm? I might even want to use Tapu here, honestly. I don't... There's really nothing to grab with algorithm, but... We might as well do it anyways. I'm going to grab, it doesn't matter, but 
energy. I'm gonna grab a Guzma and a Metagross. I don't wanna grab too many cards. I'll grab candy in case we ever take a prize. I'll grab heavy ball. That'll be my draw. I mean, what else is I gonna grab? I could have grabbed N2, I guess. Whatever, it's fine. Doesn't matter. I don't think we can win. We're super long cards. Our prizes are pretty bad. We got a Metal Energy prize, a Needle King prize. Yeah, and I stretchered for one Pokemon. Not to mention, once he Garbotoxes me, it's kind of game over at that point. But we, I think Field Blower's in the deck. I don't know, whatever. Doesn't, it didn't really matter what I grabbed off Algorithm. I think he's going to end me anyways. But we're, we're kind of low on everything, so there's nothing to really grab with Algorithm. So, it is what it is. Blower, right? That's fine. I can float and then keep the Guzman. That's not bad. I mean, even I'm probably gonna Guzma Galissapod and try and knock it out. I don't think we can do damage to Garbodor on the bench. We would need five energy, which I don't think I have. I think Lele's not even gonna live that long, anyways, because of uh, he's probably gonna cross him. Oh no, he already used Cross But nah, yeah, Lele's probably not gonna live, anyways. He might even run, run a couple Professor Qkeys. So we could see like a first impression choice bank Professor Kuki knocking on Lele next turn possibly. I think it's best just to go Glissbot and get the most amount of prizes and try and find that metal energy. So that maybe we can have a chance of possibly getting a, not a win, but a mix between win and loss. I'm glad he has an ace roll of this though, I'm not gonna lie, that'd be super bad. He hasn't played many supporters though, might be holding on to one too. We're getting lucky that he hasn't found some ace roll to play, and the fact that he uh, had to GX attack a non-EX Pokemon, and he hasn't Garbotox in me. So we are getting a little lucky here, but our luck runs out. It's like my boy Glenn. Our luck runs out. Okay, cool. Armor press. That means our Metagross takes damage. So this thing's gonna have to attack now. Field blower. Not bad. Okay. Triple Metagross is nice. And we're gonna Guzma Galissapod here into Lele. Hundred, okay, we're knocking about just making sure. Might have all attached, I don't know. And yeah, we'll knock him out. Best prizes probably would uh, do we have any more Guzmas in the prizes? Nope, okay. Best prizes, Metal Energy and Edo King. Oh no, we got the Needle King though, so at least we have another backup attacker if worse comes to worse. So, that's not too bad. But once Garbodor hits the field, it's game over. How much energies are in the discard? Alright, we're good. We got enough to up, up our uh, Needle King. We desperately do need to find ya boy. Ya. What are we gonna look for? Ya boy Metal. We need to get the Metal the discard, or not the discard, the prizes ASAP. Maybe three medals is better. Probably honestly should want with three medals. Two medals is just bad. I might on it. I think I'm just gonna tweak the deck. I think I'm okay. After this match, I'm gonna remove nine tails. Pardon me, I'm gonna remove nine tails and put a metal energy in the deck. Trubbish eye. We've played a ton of items too, right? Twenty sixty. Yeah, we've played a ton of items. So where a tap book here would be nice. But this isn't too bad. Can't take him out though, man. That's the sad part. We're low on cards too. We do have an end in the deck though. So uh, clutch times are ahead. Mm, Needle King might take a hit here. Who knows? Maybe we can possibly win. Oh no. I wanna I wanna keep that metal energy for Metagross just in case. Power layer. Boom! Not knocking him out. Wish I had a good Guzma. I think even with a full bench would be knocking out. I mean, obviously we're doing less damage, but yeah, our choice band's gone. We don't have a full bench, 20 less damage. There's no way we can take one shots with Nido King, but you know what? Pretty invulnerable here, honestly. He can't knock me out this turn, so we might actually be able to maybe not win because it's this Lele. There's no way we can take it out now. No, actually, yeah, there's, mm, I don't think we can get another evolution on our bench, so there's really no way to knock out this Lele here to win the game. We're going to come close, though. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed. Ah, oh, rip. He's going to knock out Lele, too. That sucks. That's fine. We do take out his Glissbot again, though. 
plate. All he needs now is one more Guzma. He hasn't been, I have not seen any other supporters from him. Okay, cool spot. Again, all he needs is Guzma to knock me out, but we honestly put up such a good fight. We have no Guzmas left. Rip. So yeah, we're out of Guzmas, we're out of Skylas. Choice bands. We can't even tackle Metagross. The fact we can't tackle Metagross is pretty tragic. I think we just gotta pray that he doesn't... Okay, can we get the end here? Darn. If we end him to one, we might have had a shot of maybe winning. That's a rip, though. We already take two prizes. Maybe, just maybe, we can find what we need. Ah, no, we can't find that Metal Energy for the life of us. Yeah, I think I'm going to take out Nine Tails and put in Metal Energy. But, uh, the fact that we whipped in there is just sad. Oh, I should have algorithm for it. I think it's game. This guy's got to have the Guzma, right? He might not have the energy, maybe. He's used a few. I mean, he is super running, but he's used a few energies here. Most Glispot Garb decks only play two energies, right? Maybe he doesn't have a KO. Wait, wait. Why oh, does he have the energy to win? I mean, if he tries to try to have Metagross, I'll just float. I, oh, if we can end him to one, though, this would be huge. We'd actually be able to make a pretty good comeback if we can end him to one. How, though, he hasn't used many supporters, which is a little bad. He's going to Sycamore. All right, so it looks like we are going to survive the turn. As long, if he doesn't hit an energy here, this is huge. He's going to hit it, though, right? He can win with Trash Lance. Just... Yep, there it is. Rip. That was a pretty close game. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. That was actually a pretty fun match. We came super close to maybe winning, despite the odds stacked against us. That was a fine match. I'm fine with that game. We came pretty dang close to winning, so I ain't gonna complain. That was pretty dang good. Um, probably gonna get the chest by the end of the video, too. Now, I am gonna take out Nine Tails, put a Metal Energy in. I find that's a little better. Um, but in the deck explanation, I guess I'll put something like a text on screen saying, Oh, I put, I put an extra Metal Energy in the deck. So that's what we'll do here. But that was a pretty fun match. We'll get one more game with the deck, of course. Maybe we can win this time. So I'll take out nine tails and I'll put in three medals. I think that's more important, honestly. Like if we could attack Metagross that match, that would have been huge. Just unfortunately, we just couldn't. But that's fine. We were pretty dang close to winning. If only we could attack Metagross, we might have actually stood a chance of winning, despite Trash Lands being an issue. But yeah, the fact that we burned so many Guzma so early on really sucks. But we'll get one more game with the deck in. And let's see if we can win. Darkrai, I'll take Darkrai. Though we can't... Nido King's resistance, the resistance is pretty annoying. Alright, Tails, come on. Toad it down. Let me down. Maybe it's not Darkrai, though. Maybe it's Sore for some reason. It's probably Darkrai. Ooh. Alright, I'm gonna start with Nidoran. I'd rather lose a Nidoran. Nido King might not be too good in this matchup. Metagross might be the main MVP here. It's one choice band, one shot, Darkrai. So, Metagross might be the king here. We have a very good hand, though. We have the rare candy Metagross and the Bridget. Ooh, and he starts with Dark IGX. That's not bad, either. Obviously, you'd want to start with Dark Pulse or Baby Velpaw. No! The end! Uh, the end. I'll hit it with a sad face, because the end. Uh, no. All right, can we please get the Bridget? Nope. That's fine though. We, our hand's not bad. Nah, we got the Bridget. I'm gonna get... Mm, I wanna try Needle King Breakout. I'm uh, gonna get rid of Psychic Energy. Ah, uh, fine. We'll get rid of Needle King. We probably have Stretcher. Oh, wow. Both layers are prized. Rip me. Alright, we'll grab full fix in. Dang. Alright, all our Metagross are in the deck. Stretcher's in the deck. Bridget's in the deck. But we, huh, wait, wait. And, alright, good. We actually got all our medals this time. Man, that's so tragic, though. That's a tragedy. Both Laylays are prized. Man, this deck does not like me today. I guess we pass. We didn't get energy, so we can't retreat into full picks. That's fine, though. We will be able to uh, get a Metagross and play next turn. I need to get more Beldums down. The fact that Lele's reprise is just sad. We might be able to use Altar of the Moon, though. 
that could be pretty good with Metagross, so maybe this works out in our favor. It's just sad that the two things are prized. It's just pretty brutal. In before Guzma and he finds a way to knock out my Beldum. Sycamore. Alright, please discard. Discard no Dark IGX. Nice. Alright, he gets rid of Wow, he's low on Guzmas. That's good, that's good, that's good. I'll take it. Ultra Ball 2. Alright, let's check this out. Is he gonna get Dark IGX in the discard pile? Nope. Nice. How many cards have we played? Oh, okay. Making sure. So he's grabbing baby Veltal. He will be able to retreat into it. <laughs> he doesn't have any energy in there though. So it's fine. I don't mind that at all. Okay, cool. Alright, let's see what we top deck. Oh, that's perfect actually. We can get both Needle King and Metagross and play this turn. Cool. And we can retreat to both picks while ready. Not bad. Obviously, this is where Nine Tails would be nice. We could try an algorithm too. Alright, we'll see if we can maybe algorithm. That wouldn't be bad either. Oh no, wait, I meant to Dang it, I meant to retreat. It's too late, I gotta I gotta stick to the play. Rip, I forgot to retreat like a dummy. Actually, no, never mind, we got Altar's in play, Altar's in play. Unfortunately, we don't get rid of much more. I forgot Altar's in play, though, but I didn't mean to do that. It's fine. No, it's all picks. Not too bad. Alright, cool. Our hand not looking too cool, though, either. But, wait, why can't... Oh, it's on basics, right? Oh, it's two less. Alright, that's fine, we got float. <laughs> I'm overthinking. I'm, I'm overthinking. It's fine. I'll, it's fine to put Psyche on there. We don't need it for that. I should, maybe should have Algorithm, but I'd rather just Beacon instead. Might as well grab Nidoran. Because we got these guys in our hand. Cool. Alright. Hopefully these weird misplays stop where I forget that I can't retreat for free with Altar. I keep thinking Altar lets you retreat for free. Just because it's kind of been like that with a few other stadiums like Fairy Garden. But... It's only two retreat less, so that's that's that. And cool, I didn't have a supporter. Though I wanted to put Beldum on the bench. But let's see what this end gives me. More Nidor range, that's fine. We actually got a decent hand off that too. But I don't want to lose my max my choice band. I need to have a turn though where I take out Dark Ride though, so that's gonna have to happen ASAP. Oh he's oh he's playing aggressive. Oh I see you. I see you. If we had maybe a metal energy in our hand, we might have... Ah, oh, rip. I was going to say, if we had a metal, we might have been able to actually knock him out here with Metagross. But, uh, that day ain't never going to happen. We got seven energy in the deck. Okay. Yeah, if, if we drew an energy there, maybe we would have had a knock with Metagross. I guess we'll have to go into Vulpix again. Okay, there's some more energy. We even have Guzma too, so that may be coming handy. And we have Nierino and Metagross. Cool, alright. Next turn, Dark Rival get knocked out. We do have another choice band in our hand. We have Guzma. So that's nice. So Dark Rai is going to get knocked out. We've gotten rid of one of these two. Only problem is, I hope he doesn't get more energy in play. However, it's kind of tough to knock out Metagross GX in one hit. If I had another, maybe if I had another energy in the discards, would be fine, I don't know. Choice band. It's a little scary, because we already burnt our only field blower. And there's another energy. Yikes, Sycamore 2, rip. Hmm. He loses Lele, that's not too terrible, in case we want to end him. If I need Fury Belt. Oh my gosh, he plays Belt. Well, it looks like I am going to be knocking out Dark Ray EX then. Oh my gosh, why? No, stop. Stop this. Belt? Are you serious? Oh no. Rip the dream. Rip the dream. Fighting Fury Belt? Oh no. Maybe I should just attack him now. I don't know. 
think I'd rather just take these one shots while I can. I need Fury Bell, man. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to tell you guys. Sadly, he is going to be able to conserve one energy off that. But he's got Fighting Fury Bell. What, what am I supposed to do about that? Now, it'd be really nice if we got a Beldum off of this and maybe another supporter. I don't know if there's any in the prizes. Can we get Beldum? Lele. That's fine. Lele can still attack, too, so we gotta always remember that. We still have our GX decks. So maybe we can tap Procure. Mm, maybe I'll do it next turn. We'll see. Only two Max Lixers. Hopefully Metagross lives this turn. I don't think he can knock me out. Though. You would need a lot of energy. So I doubt that's gonna happen. So yeah, hopefully we live here. And, ah, uh, rip. I like that hand. Probably would have retreated into Nido King. Okay, we can still do that. We got N too, so I don't know. Maybe that's relevant. The, f <laughs> the funny Fury Bell though is such a troll. Yeah, we can use our Fury Bell or our Rip. How much is that? 150. Yikes. Hey, Nido King number two. Nice. We have a one retreat, that's right. Well, we gotta pay one energy though, so that right, still works out. I was gonna say, if we didn't have that, it actually wouldn't have been too good. I think I'm gonna end him next turn. So I'll keep that. But we will be able to swing him for 130, and then we can finish him off the other Nido King, and that would be nice. We can end him to three, finish off Nido King. He's low on supporters. He's used most of his Guzmas, all his ends, a couple of Sycamores. Three Ultra Balls. Lele's in the discard. Speaking of Lele, he's gonna knock out Metagross. Please have the other Guzma be prized. No, oh, no. Metagross, we hardly knew ye. We still have Rusty Stretcher though, right? Okay, good. But that's fine, we get to enemy to two, which is still pretty decent in my opinion. Why oh, he's gonna knock him out with that? Oh my gosh. Why? He's got Funny Fury Belt. That Funny Fury Belt is just evil here. It's just, just evil. Alright, well, we'll end him. Let's see what we find. Stretcher, nice. I, I think I'm gonna stretch her back, the Beldum, the Metagross, and the Needle King Break. Needle King Break might not be bad. We have Lele too for next turn, so that's good to know. And we can power Larry at 430. But Nido King will go down, but we still two-shot him, which is good. Hopefully that end did something. Again, he's so low on resources, um, supporter-wise, that's good. He's low on cards, too, which isn't good either. Don't hit, don't hit, don't hit. It hit, dang it. Can't catch a break to do, Nido King. Those two Lele's being prized, so we're, it's pretty tragic, because we really needed that turn on Bridget. Got so much energy in play. It's just bad. Guess we have to find our other metal energy. Might be better to Sycamore, because I don't think we can get off an end of four. Even then, my boy Metagross ain't going to live anyways, let's be real here. I think we just got to take the L here. don't think we can do much else. Unless this top deck is God tier. Guzma, it's not got to rip. Rip the dream. I meant to attach that, actually. Whatever, it will be okay. Okay. Well, we don't have any yikes. We are out of sickas. So we have to end him to one. And yeah, I guess we have to end him to one and hope that we hit our. Uh... We have to hope we hit the metal energy. Alright, here we go. And the one, if we find a metal energy, then it is going to be nice. Ah, oh, dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I think that's game. I, I don't think I can do much else about this. He's definitely knocking me out, so there's like nothing I can do. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. I think we just algorithm and accept the L. I guess. Rip me. Rip the dream boys. 
Well, we did come pretty close to winning. Kind of, not really. Kind of overwhelmed us. The fact that he plays Funny Fury Ball made all the difference too, because we can't take out Darkrai in one hit with Metagross with a Choice Band. And I think he has enough energy to one-shot me because he's got Choice Band in play. And obviously I can't retreat to Lele or Nido King because then he'd win the game. But if we do live here, we will be able to at least take one prize. In before the Sycamore was what he got off end of one, I swear. I swear, I swear. Dark Pulse, okay. Well, that is game. Literally, oh my god, we gave him the energy to win the game. Are you? <laughs> Pokemon, thank you. Alright, that's fine. I think we are able to buy a chest, even though we only took two prizes. Or, not buy a chest, but we're going to get our chest, right? Yes. Okay, we'll open up the chest, then wrap up the video. Unfortunately, folks, Metagross Needle King did not pull through for us. It did not at all. It just backfired. My boy, Needle King Metagross didn't live up to the hype. We, we took some pretty brutal L's. I mean, okay, the Glissbog game was actually pretty decent because we came close to winning the Dark Eye match. The Dark Eye match just hurts my heart, man. It hurts my heart to see that game. Um, but honestly, it's fine. We had some fun with the deck. We got a little unlucky both matches with what we had in our prizes, so I'm not going to lie, but it's fine. And uh, yeah, I think that wraps up today's video. I know we added an extra Metal Energy in, so there's that. I'll just say in the video I added Metal Energy. But that was some fun, folks. Unfortunately, Metagross just, just, it didn't do what it was supposed to. Maybe I didn't do the deck list right. Maybe there's more things I could add. I don't know. Maybe more, like, energy. I just don't know. We just got really unlucky that match. But thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more PC Joe content. Help me hit 2,000 subscribers. Um, can we hit it by October? That'd be great. By the end of October. or Not by October. Not the end of October. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Crazy Combo Deck. I'll see you guys later. Have a good day. Goodbye.